Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. Um, before we get started, I'm going to let a few people hop on. So do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Do your friends a favor. Um, share this video. Tag them. Tell them to hop on. It's not going to be long. Um, but I have some uh, important announcements I want to give to everybody. To everybody. So we're going to wait a little bit. Maybe about two, three minutes. Get everybody on. Come on, come on, come on. Don't shadow watch. I know I got a few shadow watchers out there. Don't shadow watch. Hop in, join in. Uh, let's interact. I got some powerful stuff for y'all. <sighs> Oof, that was good. You know? Come on, y'all. Let's, let's get a few people on this live. Yeah. Share this video, y'all. Share this video. It's going to be very important. Um, and it won't be too long. Okay? <laughs> oh, man. One more minute, we're gonna get started. We're gonna get cranking in this bad boy. We're gonna get cranked up. Yeah, it's gonna be a good little live. It's gonna be a good one. Alrighty, family, we're going to get started shortly, y'all. Share this video. Hop on. This is very important stuff. What's today, Friday? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be good. Now, I want to start this so you have something to think about over, you know, the weekend. Okay? Alright, cool. We're, I'm going to go ahead and just get started, give y'all the message, and um, let y'all marinate on it. There's a lot of buzz going on right now with cryptocurrency, with investing, with finance, with money in general, right? And uh, what I really want to tell you is stop stressing so much about what's going on and what's moving. So, not a financial advisor, all that good jazz, blah, 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 blah. What I really want to tell you all is... This is kind of a lesson, but it's more of a perspective more than anything, right? So we're going to go over what they call the cash flow quadrants. Everybody should know those. I want you all to get familiar with it and, you know, stop stressing so much, right? So the cash flow quadrants are the, the four different ways in which you can bring cash or income to you. So we have the employed individuals, the first cash flow quadrant where you work for somebody. Then we have the self-employed, which somebody works for themselves. The third quadrant is a business owner. They employ people. And the fourth quadrant are, is the investor where they use their money to make money for them, okay? I want you to realize that your life is not dependent on getting to the investor spot. I know a lot of people are telling you to invest, invest, invest. And the community, the community needs to invest. And in, yes, you should invest. But I want you to not stress so much, no matter who and what you are, on hurrying up and getting there. What's more important is getting the knowledge and understanding why you would even want to get to that point. Okay? Sure, you need to invest your money. 
But I also don't want you to get so tied, so fixed, so stressed on potentially losing money where you lose your brain. You lose your, your uh, foundation. You lose your anchor to what you came here to do. Look, there's one of two things that's going to happen. Or really one of three things. The first thing is you continue doing exactly what you're doing right now. You don't um, do any research. You don't get any extra knowledge. And you essentially miss this wave that's happening with, with the wealth transfer. Number two, you identify and understand that there's a wealth transfer going on. But perhaps you don't invest or you don't invest heavily. Which is fine. I need y'all to get that right now. That's fine. You're still going to be okay. I'm going to tell you why in a second. And the third one is you put all your eggs in one basket. You go with the wealth transfer. You're, you're investing, investing, investing. You're not getting your knowledge up, though, because some people, you, you need to know what you're doing. You need to know what you're investing in. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if you catch the wave, if you crash, <laughs> if you wipe out. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know how to properly transfer your assets or your currencies correctly or you're not investing in things that are sustainable and I want to just hit on these last two portions right so most people are like hopping on the cryptocurrency wave people hopping in SHIB and Dogecoin I'm letting you know I'm not a crypto expert don't come at me that way if you are into the crypto space very heavily I'm not a crypto expert I do invest in cryptocurrency but I know for damn sure yes you could definitely make money with those yes you do you will I have People are, I know, but they're not going to be the end all be all. Recognize that you have to learn how to shift your money around. And the reason I'm emphasizing that so much, you need to research things. You need to research projects that are going to be more sustainable and long lasting rather than the fast money, the quick money. Because if you don't get your knowledge up on sustainable projects and you don't get your financial literacy up, and that's not just, well, investing is dollar cost averaging and things of that nature. You need to understand financial literacy in terms of how to keep cash flow going, how to maintain cash flow and understanding your own finances, your income versus your expenses. You need to understand just how to manage your own self and that is not really always just money it's mindset okay like this is really important because a lot of people think oh, I'm gonna invest in you know this is gonna make it this much and I'm gonna be good I'm gonna be set for life but, but guess what bro you can get a million dollars right now and most people don't have the mindset to keep a million dollars so they're gonna lose it you're gonna end up in the same spot because you didn't take the time to educate yourself for one and two you did not change your mindset though it does not matter how much increase you get because your ability to hold on has not increased in proportion so what I really want to emphasize right now is understanding cash flow, how to keep bringing cash in, and more particularly, this is the age where people are sustaining themselves with their value that they're bringing to the world. Look, check this out. You may not invest as heavily as other people or as much as you would have liked, but when the world shifts to this new way of operating currency and, and uh, using monies, Guess what? They still got to spend it. And guess what? You need a way to bring it in. If you're building a business right now, just have value. Really, at the end of the day, have value, yo. Don't stress and trip so much because you feel like you're missing a boat because you're not really. You're really not. If you're selling a good or a service, and you're taking dollars right now and we shift to the cryptocurrency full blown people still got to pay for stuff your if your business is bringing value to people you're still going to get cryptocurrencies so i don't want you to get so stressed out i don't want you to get so bogged down like oh man i gotta maintain my business and i gotta know about cryptocurrencies and i gotta invest in every project because you don't you don't you should and you should do some researching, but you don't have to invest in every project. And you're not missing out when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing because no matter what, the economy is still going to be here, yo. And look, I'm going to 
define economy for you real quick so you don't keep attributing your economy with the world's economy. Your economy is the ability to bring money in you. Your, your economy is your ability to provide value in exchange for value. People give you what you need, so you give people what they need. That's all the economy is. And you have your own personal economy. And once you recognize that you have your own personal economy, you don't stress so much because you may be missing the wave. Yeah, you might have to still work a little harder than you would like to. But I'm going to let you know, I mean, this is just me and I'm young too. So, you know, I don't have all the years on me like everybody else. You're going to work regardless. You should find a passion so your working isn't as stressful. You enjoy what you're doing. You can bring in income doing it. You're not going to be behind the curve because people still got to give you money for stuff. People still got to give you currency for stuff. There's still going to be an exchange of value no matter what, whether we're bartering, whether we're doing cryptocurrency, whether we're going to stay with fiat. It's always an exchange of value. So don't stress so much. Keep doing what you're doing as far as bettering yourself. I hope you've been bettering yourself. And I hope you're doing something that's providing value, whether it's learning your skill or, you know, being a really good worker. Because some people are just workers, you know. Like, I'm not, nothing to say about that. Some people are just really good workers. They're really good at taking orders. They're good managers. Work on your leadership skills. Work on the business that you wanted to produce and have a target audience. I don't want y'all to get so fixated on this financial mindset where you miss out on how finances in an, e in an economy is generated in the first place. Recognize that your economy is made because there is an exchange of value. So all you must do is provide value and you will never necessarily be behind the curve. You'll never miss the wave because you're part of the wave. You know what I'm like? I hope y'all get what I'm saying because, look, no matter if we're using crypto or fiat, somebody got to pay you. And you're going to take what you can to get what you need. So you're not going to be behind the curve. And some people want to just be investors full time. And that's awesome. That's great. Kudos to you. And some people want to just be business owners and let somebody else handle their investing. Awesome. Kudos to you. Some of y'all want to just be workers because that's what you like to do. You don't want the responsibilities of being a business owner. Kudos to you. No matter what, you're not, not, you're not going to necessarily be behind the curve unless you stop educating yourself. Now, you can get in front of the wave. You can get in the wave. The only way you're going to be behind the wave is if you stop educating yourself. So I need you to just stop stressing so much. And you can always start small wherever you're at. I promise you, it does not matter how much you're investing. Just, you know, you can, $10, yo. Uh, there's a dude on here. He's he's really passing out a lot of free game. There's a few of them, actually. Um, Jabril Muhammad, Dennis Sennett. Uh, there's a group on man. There's a whole bunch of dudes in there. Ten dress. Like, there's dudes that's dropping nuggets all the time. There's a lot of dudes out here that just dropping free knowledge for y'all. And all you got to do is just follow up and research. So you don't have to stress so much. Just provide value to, to the world. And you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be within the wave. You won't get wiped out. That's it, y'all. I don't want y'all to keep stressing so much. Because I can feel the anxiousness in the air. The rush to get into cryptocurrency. To be there. And I promise you, it's better to be on time and sustainable than early and fail and crash. I mean, because there's people that's going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm dumping all my money in, in this project here. And if that bad boy wipe out, oh, yeah, you made some money. But if you don't have that financial literacy, if you didn't take the time to educate yourself correctly, yo, you are in a bad spot, a worse spot than if you would have just waited. And educated yourself. So stop stressing, yo. You know, educate yourself. Reach out to people. Um, you know, read. Learn. Don't stop learning. Don't stop learning. And invest a little bit at a time. You know, rule number one of investing finances. Don't risk more than you can afford to lose. Don't risk more than you can afford to lose. 
All right. So stop stressing so much. Again, not a financial advisor. All that good jazz, you know. Like, I just want y'all to stop stressing so much. A lot of people are not in the cryptocurrency yet. We are getting into the adoption phase. Um, there's a lot of things being made behind the scenes, but you don't be good either way. You really are. Just bring value. Make sure you have you can add as much value to the world as possible, and you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Remember, you make your own economy. That's it, y'all. This is Brother Coasty at IALLG.com. We're always building bridges within to explore the world without. Y'all take it easy. Peace.